It's a time to embrace the impossible, an unprecedented era in which we adapt and learn. A time to dive into unknown waters and strive for excellence, never allowing ourselves to lose heart. It's a time to celebrate our diversity through a common bond of strength and courage. It's through our differing viewpoints that we will become stronger than ever this coming year. And for Broken Arrow Public Schools students, staff, teachers, administrators, parents, and the community, it's a time to be together, even if we are apart. We go out together, we stay the tall, cause we got each other. These uncertain times have not dampened our passion for learning or our need to change the way we engage our students. While these challenges may lie ahead, together we will continue to grow as a district, relying on our community to keep us connected. As we forge ahead over the next several months, Broken Arrow Schools will remain resilient, being here for every student and staff member who walks through our many doors focusing on a safe and healthy learning environment. We have many stories but one heart, and this school year story is about unity above all else. We will grow. We will be an example of how the future will look when we come out on the other side, united, together. BAHS students, if you can get through this year, you can absolutely get through anything. You're going to have a story to tell your children and your grandchildren. All of the pitching in and helping out each other and taking care of each other. Knowing that we can get through everything or anything as long as we stick together, you know, create the, the best year that we can under the guidelines that we have. And I think the students here have done that this year. We always have, as human beings, to overcome difficulties. It's part of life. So I believe that the best way to approach life on a daily basis is with the idea that this is the best day that I've ever had. At the end of the day, for all of us to be here to be with our students and try to challenge them in person is a lot more rewarding than most people realize. After watching last year's seniors lose so much at the end of their year, I was really worried how our current seniors were going to handle it. And right off the bat, they had great attitudes, great energy, and we're grateful for anything we were able to provide for them. One message I would give our Broken Arrow High School students is that this is really part of your story, and this too will pass. It's obviously been very challenging, but I think we've, we've seen the most of it, and we're stronger 
we're stronger because we've been through this. We're probably kinder and more compassionate because we've been through this. We so much appreciate you showing up and putting forth any amount of effort. The steps you're making right now, the strides that you are remarkably completing to me, say something about your character overall. You're still showing up, so keep showing up. I forever will love and respect my kids this year for I feel like we've survived a pandemic together and it's been a hard one and a beautiful one at the same time. Good evening, Broken Arrow, and welcome to the 113th Commencement Ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Tonight, we celebrate the Class of 2021. I'm Noah Bryan, alongside my fellow Class of 2021 member, Taylor Smith, and you're watching a special graduation episode of The Pulse. We have been a part of AeroVision, The Pulse, and GMBA for the last three years, but tonight, we will be with you for the next 50 minutes as we count down to the big moment we have all been waiting for. We have some brand new AeroVision content, as well as some of the best student-produced VAHS videos of the year. The class of 2021 has waited 13 years for this evening, but the last year has been the most challenging for us all. This evening, we celebrate not only all we have overcome, but all we have accomplished. First up on tonight's show, we hear from many members of the class of 2021, as they share some of their best memories from this one-of-a-kind school year. After that, we spotlight one of the district's biggest nights of the year, the Star Gala. Last year, the district was unable to hold this annual event due to COVID, but it was back this year as 29 site teachers of the year were honored along with five beyond and above support employees of the year. Check out the AeroVision highlights. This year has been really weird because of COVID. We've been in and out of school but I think we've done really well as a senior class. We've all gotten through it. We're almost done. So I'm super excited and I'm so thankful for Broken Arrow and what they've done for me. And I'm so excited to see where all of us go in the future. My time at VHS has been really incredible. Um, I never thought that senior year would look like this. So many incredible things have come from senior year. Like I have relationships with people that I never thought I would have and being able to take those little moments and not take them for granted like I used to junior year. Um, and like we have such an incredible class and we go to such an incredible school. Um, and so to be able to spend time with those people uh, whenever I can is just absolutely incredible and I wouldn't want to spend my days anywhere else. Um, it's really bittersweet to be a senior and it's our last year to do this, but I'm grateful to have such amazing classmates. I just feel very blessed. So I do theater. So last year, whenever we didn't expect uh, COVID to happen, you know, things got canceled. Several events got canceled, prom got canceled, and none of us really expected this. So this year, I think I'm really trying to appreciate the moments we are at school and we are participating in events and shows. We've been through what seems like some of the greatest turmoil that's ever been seen for a high school class. Um, we've stood strong in it. Um, we found ways to make it our own. And I think that's what I would say, you know, not just to the senior class, but to all of the classes here at Broken Arrow High School. So last year in Pride, I took everything for granted because there wasn't a pandemic. But I'm really glad that we got to do something this year. Like, at least we got to do something. But this year, like, I'm getting a full season of track so like I've never been able to like be there every single day and practice with them every single day so it's exciting to see like 
like the progress that I'm making and like how much better I'm getting from like sophomore year, which is the last time I really had a track season. I mean, what we have been able to do has been pretty, pretty good, but it does stink that we haven't been able to do as much as we had hoped, you know, like growing up and everything. I'm trying to really just make the most of it and just go to as many events as I can that we do have. Um, I think one of the hardest things about COVID is like growing up when you're a kindergartner and you see all the high schoolers and you see senior year and how it's just the best year of these high schoolers' lives and then we get to our own senior year and it looks a lot different. Um, but I think it's taught me that you just have to adapt and really make the most of it of your situation because you, we could just take the senior year and we could say it sucked or we could just, you know, go with the flow and make the most of it. With show choir, like COVID has kind of demolished it because of, you know, usually by this point we would have had competitions and we'd be in our competition season. But then again, it's also kind of brought us together because it made us like realize what we've got is so great. So I think COVID really like as a whole affected the football team state championship. You know, that's the that's the goal every single year, but I think COVID this year especially um, brought us closer together and made us really want to work towards that goal. And obviously, we didn't get the result that we wanted, but at the end of the day, I think us seniors at least could all leave on the note that, you know, we knew that we were working as a unit and trying to get to where we wanted to be. We've had to postpone the musical twice now, so that's been a bit difficult figuring out a new rehearsal schedule all the time. It's a lot of pressure on all of us. Um, but it's just best to keep a positive mindset. I think that's the only way to really get through it. My junior year got cut short for soccer. We only played three games and we were doing pretty well and we probably could have won state. Um, I feel like the biggest thing that's changed this year is the football games because um, we've all had to be like separated and usually in football games, like we're all having fun, like jumping around together. So the biggest change for me this year from COVID would be during volleyball season, we had to wear masks every time we were off the court and then like we couldn't even high five our own teammates. So that was kind of weird not being able to get close while we're like on the court and off the court. Probably this year made me realize how much I took for granted like being around my friends and getting to hang out with them all the time. And it also made me take for granted like being around family and stuff, COVID really hit kind of crazy and I just realized how much family means to me. So because of COVID, we didn't do any trips for Pride. It made it seem a little tough at times, but it definitely made us feel like closer as a family. Doing gym night is really fun and I'm glad they're making it to where we can still do it because I mean, even the weather got in the way. <laughs> so I really appreciate everything that BA has done to make it as normal as possible. I think that everyone should live in the moment because this year's really changed and it's a lot different from last year and I take a lot of stuff for granted, stuff like prom and graduation. And so like the little things will make everything better and like focus on those. Yeah, I'd probably say dances are probably my favorite. They're at high school. They're really fun. You could go with your friends, get ready. Like just, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I feel like everyone was able to like get out of their shell. A lot of people that like you could, wouldn't really see talking in classes, you'd always see them dancing at dances and stuff like that. And it was just a lot of fun. So I would just tell myself to keep being positive because that's really what's got me through all of this is just to be happy and not focus on all the bad things. This year has just been really different for yearbook. We've really struggled with like getting like events, but we've just tried our best. We've just tried to stay positive and we've made it work. And this yearbook's definitely gonna be different, but it's gonna be one to remember and I think everyone's gonna love it. Looking forward to graduation. You know, there's another drop in the bucket and you got more things to look forward to, so. If I could say something to my senior class, I think I would just tell them, high school is supposed to be fun and all, but these aren't going to be the best years of our lives. You know, we've missed out on a lot this year, but there's still so much waiting for us. Like, we've still got so much left, so much more fun left in our lives.
2021 Teacher of the Year is Michelle McCarver. The families that are part of Rosewood um, have truly made it special. Um, it's, there's no other place that I'd rather be than to be a part of that school. Leaning in on past di district teachers of the year and um, connecting with them and learning from them as I get ready to represent Broken Arrow will definitely be on my mind through the summer as, as I prepare for that. Our leadership, our Broken Arrow leadership has been incredible. I, we grow through the hard times and man, there was so much growth this year, but because of that, it's caused us to really form that community even more within Broken Arrow. We could not do it without our leadership, our school board, our admin across the, the district, um, alongside that, our families, our parents, and our students. So thank you so much for helping us get through hard times this year and doing it so well with such great professionalism. I feel a little mind blown right now. This is the most humbling experience I've ever, I've ever had. And seeing the videos of them and their work with their students just shows just how amazing our district is. It is, I'm sure, a small microcosm of the great things that are happening throughout our district. I pray that I represent this district well. It's not about me, you know, I, I don't teach for the, the fame, I don't teach for this, I teach because I love it and I wanna be in there with them. And so when I, when I get to school tomorrow, it's just picking back up where we left off, continuing to make those connections, to be able to in, instill that passion of music that I have onto them. Um, that's what I'm excited about getting back to tomorrow. Our students continue to succeed and show unbelievable grit during these unprecedented times. And best of all, we are all stronger because of what has been thrown at us. Very exciting, very nervous. Um, even today at school, I was just like very nervous about tonight. I'm kind of the kind of person who likes to be in the background. I don't like being up front and any of that kind of stuff. I just like to be like the help to make, make it happen. Rachel Kaiser, she is an amazing principal. Not only she is my boss, but she's also my friend. Through the three years we've worked together, I mean, I'm kind of I'm her backup in the aspect of I, I try to keep her on task if she's kind of falling behind on her day, or I try to look ahead and, and try to see what things I can help her with to kind of pre-plan for her so that way she's set for the next, the next project or the next thing that she needs to get done as the principal. Creekwood is like a second family to me. I love working with the entire staff, those, those kids that, you know, that need that extra little bit of love, that extra that little hug. It's an amazing place to work in those, and all the teachers are so loving and, I mean, they want to educate, but they also want to love on those kids and let those kids know that they are loved. Hi there, my name is Robert Police, and I'm a small group leader at Northside Christian Church and been leading a group of wonderful people that have a care and a passion to serve our community. That being Teacher Appreciation Week, we've taken the time to write some notes to the entire staff at Broken Arrow High School. Serving as the coordinator of community development for Broken Arrow Public Schools, I do get to work a lot with our community members and they always express different ideas that they have and things they want to do for our teachers. And for me, it really means a lot to know that our community appreciates our staff and they want to love on all of our staff members, including our teachers and everybody that serves Broken Arrow Public Schools. The heart that's here and what what's going on and how these teachers and the staff have just poured out everything that they've had in this difficult time. Robert Felice used to be a teacher at Broken Arrow High School and he served on a committee with me last year and in the process of serving on that committee uh, he had reached out to me and let me know that his small group wanted to make cards for Broken Arrow High School teachers but not only the teachers the staff members 
they asked for a list of all of their names. They made them personalized for each person. We have a program called Engage VA, and this is what initiated Robert to really want to reach out and do something for our staff members. So if anybody, a community member, an individual, a business is interested in volunteering in our schools, in donating to our schools, and doing something like what Robert did, they can reach out to me and they can email me at agrace at vaschools.org. Showing up early and they're teaching the students or they're counseling them throughout the day or they're helping the school run smoothly or they're showing up when everyone else has gone home. We want them to know that we see you. We appreciate you. Here's an example of our of our card and we thought it was fitting because it it doesn't just say thank you it says that we are beyond grateful we're just we want to express that care that we share for all of the staff here and all of the ways that they're working Hey guys, I'm Morgan here with Sarah, and we're also here to celebrate the class of 2021 with you this evening. Next up on the show, we spotlight a couple of videos from the fine arts world at BHS, including the indoor percussion members who battled through this difficult year and got to compete in a national virtual competition. After that, we take you to the movies as Aerovision captures the magic of the BAHS Wind Ensemble Spring Concert, with an inside look featuring interviews with Darren Davis and three of its members. Broken Air Indoor Percussion, we're in our seventh year. We just concluded our seventh year. Uh, we started as essentially another way to give our students another performance opportunity that hasn't been offered before. I decided that we were ready to kind of take on that challenge, uh, but also provide that performance opportunity for our students. So indoor is a marching fine art where you take pretty much the percussion of a marching show band and you put it into a, uh, a gym with a tarp and you add variations like props and uh, new kinds of like dancing and all that kind of stuff into a gym on a smaller venue. Performing for indoor is very fun because um, it's different from marching band because it's less people on the floor so it's kind of more personal, more individual and so it's, it's really fun to kind of interact with the crowd and just have fun. This year's show is called After the Bleak Midwinter and what we wanted to do as a design team creating this program, we wanted to make sure that we had a show that the students could really identify with and have a personal connection. And honestly, it's loosely based on everything that we've all been through in the last year. So this year with the show, um, we didn't have a visual ensemble. I wanted to do it because, you know, last season we did get canceled and there was a lot of things that you know, like you missed out on because it was a really good show last year. So going into this year, I'm grateful that like I did the whole season, even if it necessarily wasn't something I had pictured. With last season ending because of COVID, I was pretty heartbroken. We were in the middle of the good of the season. Having that end for me, I lost experience and just time with my friends that I really enjoyed. It was just heartbreaking to see that all together. One of the most important things is to still, you know, give that experience for the students because our fall marching band didn't have those kinds of opportunities. Uh, so for us, it was very special to be able to play a part in the virtual act, uh, activities with WGI. Seeing everyone clapping and like applauding you and appreciating like all the hard work you've done is like something like you always cherish because that like moment is like validation for like all the hard work and everything you've done to get there. I think that um, the success of this season as well shows that with problems, we can overcome them just not by performing safely but doing executing it correctly in a safe way. There's so many ups and downs that we've had to be able to navigate through whether it be contact tracing or students being sick, uh, winter weather, uh, any sort of things that we've had to be able to deal with made the season a challenge and seeing those students continue to grow and continue to uh, rise to the occasion of the performance was really inspiring because of the work that was done uh, with your, this year's group, we're going to be in a really bright spot for years to come.
Hey, BA, let's stop the summer slide. Will you help us maintain the brain? Maintain the brain will take place from June 1st through July 3rd. Any questions can be directed to 918-259-7784 or email maintainthebrain at baschools.org. Look for free resources available on our website. Also, look for tidbits on our district's social media pages using the hashtag MaintainTheBrainBA. Stop the summer slide, maintain the brain. Well, we do this movie soundtrack theme for a, for a concert about once every three or four years. With the COVID interruptions that we've had throughout the year, this was just the right time to bring this back and, and uh, engage our kids, do something really kind of fun and entertaining uh, for the audience that we could perform for. The Wind Ensemble at the Broken Air High School campus is our top level musicians. They're primarily the, uh, the top auditioning students from previous year. Of our 33 All-Staters uh, that were in the All-State Band this year, almost all those students were in, in the Wind Ensemble. And so it's a real privilege you know, to get to work with those kids every day as our brightest and best and most talented musicians. I, I would not end senior year any other way than going out with the loudest concert that I think we've ever put on. Just because it was so much fun just playing pieces that people have heard and just being able to like have them recognize it. Everybody knows Indiana Jones, everybody knows Star Wars, and so to be able to capitalize on the, I've heard that on TV before, or on like a movie, it's just amazing just being able to recreate that like style of musical literature. Mr. Davis is an, has an incredible teaching style. I mean, he's done this for a long time and he knows. I mean, we get up there for rehearsal every day, you know, first hour. Um, sometimes we go in before or after school and we work our butts off in there. And, you know, all the way up from our middle school directors all the way up to Mr. Davis, you know, through pride. I mean, we know Mr. Davis incredibly well and he knows how to um, bring out our own musical personalities in our own special ways and he knows how to bring a, and bring a whole group together and have them perform at the next level. So I play trumpet. Um, this is my first year in Wind Ensemble and it's been really enjoyable, you know. It's such an amazing feeling to be sitting there with other musicians who all love the same thing that you do. And when you're all in that concert moment, you know, you get the nervousness, you get the excited, it's just a lot of good feelings once, you know, the audience is there enjoying every moment of it. You know, they're in it with you and that's really the rewarding part. To pull off the full immersive production that we did, it, it definitely takes a village. It not only takes the, the students being super proficient on what they do on their instruments, but to have uh, the PAC crew and how easy they are to work with, and they were excited about the challenge of adding some, some theatrical lighting, some effects, and then we added some video clips. You know, it's just, it means a lot that we have, you know, a team here that's willing to take on a new project and make it really special. We did a, a middle school preview for all of our middle school uh, advanced band students. It just happened to work in the calendar that we had a middle school festival planned for them to get a, an experience of performing for an audience. But then we wanted to turn around and, and let them be the audience for us. And it gives a great sense of outreach that our kids can and kind of show off their skills and the things that they've been working on this, these movie soundtracks with those middle school kids. It was really cool that those middle school kids were definitely engaged, so excited. I mean, it was a standing ovation after every piece that we played. It makes our kids feel great. Tonight is a very special occasion for over 1,300 BAHS graduates and their families. We want to remind everyone that this is a formal event and each graduate is the most important person in the stadium to their friends and families. So we ask that the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names as they are called. We also ask that while you take pictures, please do not block the aisles or stand near the railing for too long. 
Because this is also a night for celebration, there will be a time at the end of the ceremony for everyone to make all the noise you can make as the members of the class of 2021 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. With that said, back to some more AeroVision videos. I've been teaching in Broken Arrow since February of 1995. I started at North Intermediate High School and moved up to the high school in 2007. Well, I teach AP World History and um, I love it because it really gives students an insight into things that they have never been exposed to before, you know, so places in Asia, places in Africa, places in South America, you know, we focus a lot on European history and, and the foundations there, but this gives you a true worldview of culture and, you know, people and events that have all culminated in the society that we live in today. Well, I always try to make sure that uh, we are talking, we are discussing, getting into groups, uh, getting into partnerships. Um, we do a lot of different games, you know, cahoots and quizzes. And, and so I think just by trying to constantly make them think and talk and engage, it really helps them to understand the material. Like I tell the students, you know, teachers like to beg, borrow and steal. You know, there's, there's a few, creative, ingenious ideas that are just our own, but a lot of it is just the, the collaboration that we have each other. And also, you know, what makes it incredible is that we have such a unique, diverse student population, and to be able to represent that is just really, really amazing. Um, the kids are just fabulous. Um, I'm actually from Oklahoma. I'm from a very small town, so my educational experience was vastly different from what these high school students experience but it really is part of the reason that inspired me to become a teacher. I had the very unique opportunity to have the same English teacher for four years in high school and we built this amazing relationship with her where we could talk to her like a person and not just one of our teachers. She trusted us. There was this really good repertoire back and forth between us every day in class. I am certified in English education and I do love the aspects of like education in the classroom. I admire teachers so much. I just think that the niche that I've settled into is my place in education. So I can technically be a librarian in pretty much any environment. So public, academic, at like a college. But I chose school libraries even still because it's just the place, the, the age group, and the place where I feel like I can make the best connections and build the strongest relationships. When I came to this high school and realized how big this, the student body was and how difficult it was gonna be to remember names and faces and all of that, I, I just really sat down and I was like, okay, who are you? Who did you need when you were in high school? And that's who I try to be every day. The Broken Arrow Public Schools Foundation is here in the community to help support the Broken Arrow Public Schools. We are here to help enhance the education of students and making sure that they are successful in their educational journey through the school system. The foundation has been around since 1992, and in that time, we've given back over a million dollars to the Broken Arrow Public School System. Some of the things that the foundation helps with is with project graduation, PPE this last year, and the STEM facilities in the middle school. Teacher grants are one of our favorite things that we get to do each year. And this allows us to fund things in the classroom that the teacher needs. And those things that the teacher needs enhances our students' learning capabilities. A lot of things we do could not be possible without the support of the Broken Arrow community. We have several partners throughout the community that help make this possible. So thank you for what you do. We know it takes a lot to educate a child from pre-K all the way up to 12th grade. But we want to help make those moments magical for the classroom, for those teachers and for those students. So being part of the foundation, we are able to give back to the teachers, give back to the students to help advance their educational experience. And by you helping out, you can help us make more magical moments in the classroom and for the student. For more information on how you can get involved and help the foundation, please go to BAPSFoundation.org. Thank you.
Next up, on tonight's special graduation edition of The Pulse, we feature highlights from two of the year's biggest events for student activities, gym night and of course the long-awaited 2021 BAHS prom. After that, we spotlight some of the year's biggest moments for BA athletics, capped off by last Saturday's state championship for BA boys soccer. The athletics year for the Tigers has been a big one that includes state championships for the Tigers and girls wrestling, and a national championship for Broken Arrow varsity cheer. Before we get back to the videos, we want to mention to everyone in attendance that has family and friends at home who can't make it that this event is being live streamed by AeroVision on BA School's YouTube channel, as well as www.aerovision.tv. Be sure and spread the word. We also encourage everyone here to subscribe to BA School's YouTube channel, as well as our student-produced BHS Pulse channel, so you get notifications whenever we go live or drop a new video. Gym night is a dance competition between two teams that the school split up into and um, we work on those dances for about a month or two and then we have gym night which is the night we perform and then we have several judges that come in and they then judge us and after that we find out who wins and who loses and overall it's just a great experience and it definitely brings the student body together closer than it has with any other activity. My gym night experience overall was really, really good. I met a lot of new friends and I feel like I made connections with people that I probably wouldn't have in the past or like in the future because they're like different grades or they're different kinds of people. The two teams for gym night were summer and winter. My team unfortunately did not win gym night, but summer's set was so good and I just couldn't like, I couldn't understand like how hard the judging was. The the night of is just super super. I mean it's, it's overwhelming. You so you get so nervous, but the payoff is great. Once you get through that final performance, it's just like it's like everything worked for. It's like it finally happened. It's great. We had to push it back a lot cuz you know, whether it be weather or covid and uh, I think both teams did very really well at, you know, overcoming those challenges. Honestly, I had just as much fun at this tonight as I have the other two that I've been at. So in the long run, I don't think it affected it too much really. My favorite part in gym night was when our team found out that we had won uh, the gym night and we all ran out onto the basketball court and uh, we grabbed the trophy together as a team. We all just started chanting and it was, it was a cool experience. Gym night has always been my favorite event that the high school puts on. Um, no matter what would have happened, I would have loved gym night either way. So.
We are back and it's almost time to celebrate the class of 2021. Be sure you're following at BHS Pulse on Instagram so you don't miss out on a graduation photo album and highlight videos after tonight. Next up on the show is a video by this guy right here, the class of 2021 senior superlatives highlight. Great job on the video, Noah. Thanks, Taylor. Check it out and look for it on Instagram and YouTube tomorrow.
It's crazy. We finished each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. Thank you. Look. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Okay. 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 Oh, hold on. Let me post my two o'clock photo. Are you going to the play tonight? I'm starring in it. We can talk about it if you want to. Oh, genius. There's my favorite word in this dictionary. I read it sometimes in my free time. Did I mention I'm a national merit finalist? Oh, and I qualified for the presidential scholar. I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just needed a little space. Funny, right? <laughs> Ugh. There's dust everywhere in here. You guys should try dusting. That's very beneficial to allergies and things. So I'll wear this one on Monday, and then this one on Tuesday, and then these. Can we hurry up? My manager has me booked all afternoon. I change my shoes on the hour, every hour so I can wear all 24 in one single day. Best smile? Well, I do brush my teeth 10 times a day. So whenever we're done filming, you wanna go out? A group of old guys, and we joined up with them. That we had to go in the water for them. And we both took one step in at the same time, we both went under, and it was six degrees outside. I could set my pants up like a table. Sorry guys, finally here. So I went to the doctor, I got diagnosed with senioritis. Even though we're in like a panoramic or something, I've just tried to make the most out of it. Smile! Oh, I want prettiest eyes, I wonder why. Can we hurry up? I'm not trying to be late for work. Anyone want a hug? I give the best hugs. I have five stars on Yelp. Oh wait, I can talk about this because um, it's gonna be over by the time that this airs. I'm throwing a surprise birthday party for me. Hey, do you wanna buy one of my drinks? I know it doesn't look like it right now, but man, two months ago, I had the best beard in the high school, man. You know, it was flow and it was all nice and bushy, nice and thick. Yeah, then I shaved, so. Some people call me a mama's boy. So my first car wreck was I hit a mailbox. Best videographer, I did just make this whole video. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed this special graduation edition of The Pulse. Be sure and follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more AeroVision student-produced content. Sarah, it's hard to believe that this is our last moment as AeroVision students, as we're about to graduate tonight with the rest of the class of 2021. Thanks to our friends and family for not only being with us here tonight, but also always being there for us. We are now just a little more than five minutes away from the start of the 113th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. For Morgan, Taylor, and Noah, and all of the seniors in the AeroVision program, thanks for letting us tell your stories and keep you updated on all the news you need to know at BHS these last three years. 
and thanks to Mr. Couch, Mr. Herling, and Mr. Spencer for helping guide us through this crazy journey. We'll sincerely miss it. Thanks for watching. Now onto the Broken Arrow High School Class of 2021 graduation.
Good evening and welcome to Broken Arrow Memorial Stadium. I'm Crystal Barber, Broken Arrow High School principal, and on behalf of all of us here at Broken Arrow Public Schools, I'd like to welcome you to the 113th commencement ceremony for Broken Arrow High School. Tonight is a very special occasion for our students and their families, one that we hope they will cherish for the rest of their lives. This is a formal event as we celebrate 1,300 plus graduates this evening. Each of these is the most important person in the stadium to their families and friends. So we ask that the audience please refrain from making noise or interfering in any way with the ability of others to hear students' names as they are called. Because this is also a night for celebration, we have provided a time at the end of the ceremony for you to make all the noise you can make as the members of the class of 2021 throw their hats in the air and celebrate this special night together. Thank you for doing your best to help us celebrate them with dignity and class. Once again, welcome. It is a great night to be a Tiger and we are so glad you are here. Thank you and have a great evening. I'd like to welcome you to the 113th annual Broken Arrow High School commencement ceremony. Please rise to welcome the graduates of the class of 2021.
Good evening. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Please continue standing as our colors are presented by members of our Broken Arrow High School, JROTC, and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Please advance and present the colors. Thank you. Please be seated. Tonight we wish to honor those of you who have served in our country's armed forces, are currently serving, or have enlisted and will soon be serving. As our medley of service anthems play, please stand when you hear your service branches song. We salute you for your dedication and service. Shout, cows are marching all about, and those kids' songs are rolling along. For it's high. 
this time, we will observe a tradition that has been part of the commencement of our proud school since its early days. Bells play a large role in the life of most schools, signaling the beginning and the end of the school day. The ringing of a bell also notes an occasion of particular significance or importance. As we often do, therefore, we choose to reach into our past and resurrect those symbols and sounds which provided inspiration in the past, helped to make us who we are, and have assisted in bringing us to this evening. The old bell of historic Broken Arrow High School is with us tonight, and we call forth Johnette Johnson and Peter Smith of the class of 2021 to ring the bell for blessings and good fortune for our senior class. English poet John Donne once asked, for whom doth the bell toll? Tonight, seniors, the answer is clear. It tolls for thee. And now another old tradition. Please rise for the playing of our school's alma mater. You may be seated afterwards. Tonight, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing and recognizing Dr. Janet Vinson, Superintendent of Broken Arrow Public Schools. Dr. Vinson has served 30 years in the field of education as a teacher, principal, college professor, and central office administrator. She started her career in 1991 as a high school English teacher and has served the students of Broken Arrow since July of 2010. Before being named as superintendent at Broken Arrow Public Schools, Dr. Vinson served as the deputy superintendent of accountability and assessment at the Oklahoma State Department of Education. Prior to that, she served as the associate superintendent of instruction for Broken Arrow Public Schools. Among many other accomplishments during her tenure in Broken Arrow, Dr. V Dr. Vinson has facilitated the district's literacy initiative led the instructional team in successfully aligning curriculum for grades pre-K through 12, and implemented our district's Career Pathways program, where all students have access to a career pathway specific to their post-secondary goals. She represents Oklahoma on the National College Board Advisory Committee and the National SAT Suite Advisory Committee. For two years, she has served as a member of the American Association of School Administrators Redefining Ready, cohort, a nationwide cohort of school administrators redefining what high school should be in the 21st century. Additionally, Dr. Vinson was named as the 2016 Oklahoma Assistant Superintendent of the Year by COSA and the Oklahoma Association of School Administrators. She received the Women's Community Impact Award by Broken Arrow Chamber of Commerce in 2017, and in 2019, was selected as the Citizen of the Year by the Broken Arrow Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. Please welcome Dr. Janet Vinson to the platform. Dr. Vinson. Good evening. It is my honor to welcome you to the Broken Arrow High School graduation ceremony in celebration of the class of 2021 a group of more than 1,300, which is the largest class in the history of Broken Arrow Schools. First, I would like to introduce our guests joining me on the platform this evening. 
Please stand as your name is called. I ask that the audience please hold their applause until everyone has been introduced. Mr. Chuck Perry, Associate Superintendent. Ms. Carla Dias, Associate Superintendent. Mr. Steve Allen, Board of Education President. Mr. Jerry Denton, Board of Education Vice President. Ms. Brandy Roulette, Board of Education Clerk. Mr. John Cockrell, Board of Education Deputy Clerk. Mr. Steve Majors, Board of Education Member. Ms. Beth Gilbert, Broken Arrow Freshman Academy Principal. Ms. Michelle McCarver, District Teacher of the Year. Ms. Crystal Barber, Broken Arrow High School Principal. Mr. Andy Rice, Broken Arrow High School Associate Principal. Ms. Macy Foster, Senior Class President. Mr. Nico Taylor, Student Council President. Mr. Kwa Lee, Representative of the Class of Distinction. Ms. Shannon Turner, Broken Arrow Academy Principal. Mr. Caleb Starr, Broken Arrow Virtual Academy Principal. Dr. Kim Garrett, Broken Arrow Early College High School Principal. And Ms. Katherine Thomas and Ms. Doreen Christensen, Broken Arrow High School Teachers of the Year. And also, joining us on the field this evening is Ms. Natalie Enoff, Chief, uh, Chief Financial Officer, Ms. Lori Kearns, Assistant Superintendent of Personnel, Ms. Michelle Bergwall, Chief Capital Improvement Officer, Mr. Ashley Bowser, Chief Technology Officer, and Ms. Sharon James, Executive Director of Secondary Education. Honored guests, you may be seated. Well, graduates, you've made it to one of the most monumental events in your lifetime as you cross this graduation stage tonight. I get emotional thinking about this group of students sitting in front of me. You're a connected generation that's connected even more after a year after of uncertainty and change. To the class of 2021, you have taught generations that came before you many things this year, but the ones that come to mind immediately are these three things. You've taught us about the importance of grit and resilience in the face of adversity. You've shown the rest of us that you're able to embrace change and stay focused on your goals. And lastly, you've showed us that we can all do better in how we treat each other, even in the face of adversity. First, graduates, you've, you've remained resilient during one of the most difficult years in our nation and in our school district. You've faced many heartbreaks and celebrations with equal fortitude. You were patient and humble as we switched from in-person learning to distance learning to in-person learning and back again, sometimes in a matter of hours. You were resourceful during these adverse circumstances, relying heavily on your talents and strengths to get the work done. And most of all, you succeeded during a year that's given you lessons of disappointment, fear, and tragedy, but also of togetherness, community, courage, and hope. It seems that for all of us, 20 and 21 were years of change and turmoil. There's a quote that resonates with me when I think about this talented graduating class. It reads, yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I'm wise, so I'm changing myself. Let that sink in. Yesterday I was clever and I want to change the world. Today I'm wise, so I want to change myself. COVID has changed each of us forever. Some changes were painful and others not, but a positive is that it forced us to slow down and appreciate time with each other face to face. This year in the middle of the pandemic, I was able to visit every school in our district and in all 29 sites, I entered classrooms to students who actually thanked me for being in school. Okay, I'm a mom of three and I can say with honesty, none of them have ever thanked me for being in school. 
They thank me for snow days, but not school days. Although as adults we may smile at this change, it's an example of the way this class embraced change and pushed to meet incredible goals. To me, this quote by Rumi means that if you want to inspire change in your life, you have to be willing to do things differently. You must be ready to see things from a new lens and believe that you can do hard things. Positivity is a mindset that you choose, and each of you have chosen to do just that. If resiliency through difficult change is a definition, it's the class of 2021. You've shown us that nothing would distract you from your academic and extracurricular achievements. Look at some of your achievements. National Merit Finalist, a U.S. Presidential Scholar semifinalist, District Athletic Championships, the first ever Women's Wrestling State Championship. <laughs> a state Tigette championship, a national cheer title, and a 6A state boys soccer championship just last week. <laughs> You've also received statewide acclaim for art projects and drama productions and esport victories and even more. The list just goes on and on. And it's this ability you have acquired to face the challenges in life, especially when the challenges are not what you would have chosen. And yet with this newfound ability, the class of 2021 met the challenges and accomplished great things in spite of the adversity. This is what makes ordinary people become leaders. You've turned into trailblazers who have not only inspired the younger generations, but the older as well. Keep working hard in spite of what life throws at you. It'll serve you well. Even though we face very difficult times together as a community, we can honestly say for Broken Arrow Schools and for the BA family, the tough times were out overshadowed by the love, care, and empathy that you showed others. There are a few heartwarming stories this school year that I'd like to share with you because they illustrate it much better than I could describe in my own words. One student said, I think the biggest thing is that we focused on being grateful for anything and everything we were able to do this year. Our boys soccer chose to focus on a teammate battling illness, and yet he became the inspiration for this championship team. Our Broken Arrow bands facing a season with no competitions chose to create a positive, performing for our local community and nursing home residents. Despite the economic climate, our seniors still raised money for Make-A-Wish, an organization that helps fulfill the wishes of children with critical illness. They also rallied together to raise money for St. Jude because one of their fellow students is battling an illness, and St. Jude is where she's being treated. Finally, our leadership classes provided Christmas gifts to local families in need changing the lives of those who reside with our very own school district boundaries. These examples prove that you can be the generation that leads us to a bright future because you've mastered the ability to think outside your own wants and focus instead on others' needs that are less fortunate or just need a hand up. You've put others above self in your actions and not just your words and made me want to strive to be better to serve my fellow citizen. You will do better than we have, class of 2021, and soon our nation will be yours to mold. I have peace in my heart knowing what I know about this special generation of students. We're in good hands. As we know, it takes a village to raise a child. Graduates, look around you at your amazing teachers, your selfless family members, your friends, and your peers. All of these groups have come together in one fashion or another to help guide you along as we all navigated uncharted waters, and they are all here to celebrate you. Class of 2021, if you would, please rise and join me in applause as we thank these special people in attendance. Teachers, family, counselors, principals, friends, community members that have helped you cross this stage as a graduate of the biggest and best high school in Oklahoma, Broken Arrow High School.
graduates be seated. In closing, class of 2021, it's my cherish, most cherished honor to not only uh, celebrate not only what each one of you has become, but also what each of one, one of you will become. As you move into the next chapter of your life, never forget where you came from and who helped you get there. Never forget the friendships, the good times that you had here, and more importantly, everything you've learned, especially in the midst of a global pandemic. You have what it takes, resiliency, grit, flexibility in the face of change, and a deep-rooted, noble cause of helping your fellow man. We will be watching and cheering you on every step of the way. Regardless of the challenges you experienced this year, you've proudly shown your true colors. You've shown that you are BA gold through and through. Congratulations, Tigers, and thanks for sharing this celebration with us. Thank you, Dr. Vinson. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome Senior Class President Macy Foster to the platform to address the senior class. Welcome, Ms. Foster. Welcome, class of 2021, family, friends, and faculty. We did it. I truly can't believe that we are able to be here at an in-person graduation without masks after everything that has happened this last year. It is surreal to be able to actually see everyone's faces today. Before I begin, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with the life I have been given and giving me the opportunity to be here today. My parents for always believing in me, my friends who have always stood by my side, and my teachers for always pushing me to be the best that I can be. I do not know where I would be without the constant support from all the amazing people in my life. When I was first given the opportunity to write a speech for tonight, I was unsure what to say, which is a shocker for me to say the least. <laughs> I wanted to express my gratitude for every opportunity that we have been given, while also trying to encompass all of the unexpected things that have happened throughout the past 13 years in school. Looking back through our years in elementary, middle school, and high school, I am met with the realization of just how far we have come. We have gone from light up shoes, watching Bill Nye on the not so smart boards, to wearing zany bands up our entire forearms in elementary school. Then to mannequin challenges, fidget spinners, and disagreeing whether the dress was actually black and blue or not in middle school. Then, in high school, we went through driving tests, ACTs, and learning that our constant time spent online would soon be our new form of education. Our high school years have been filled with lots of unprecedented times, but I believe we have found a way to learn, grow, laugh, and make the most of the challenges we have faced. During our freshman year, we saw our teachers walk out in order to show us and our state how much they care about their students, and that we deserve more, and so do they. Our sophomore year, our football team won their first state championship. As we all know, our junior year ended abruptly at spring break with many unknowns, questions, anxieties, and fears. We didn't know if we would even have an in-person senior year. Things this year have turned out far from what we expected as kids. We never anticipated having to know people just from their eyes, having to keep a distance from one another, and even having to worry whether we would even be allowed back at school the next day. If you can take anything from this year, it is that you can make it through anything. As a child, we are taught problem solving and how to figure things out on our own, we have been able to go through this year with so much uncertainty and still give it our all, even if at times we really didn't feel like it. To quote the infamous Albus Dumbledore, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times 
if one only remembers to turn on the light. And that's exactly what we've done. Through it all, we have been able to connect through all of our years together. We have learned that you can't ride in my little red wagon, that the footloose dance isn't as hard as it looks, and that we are all BA till we die. I am proud of how far the class of 2021 has come, and I have no doubt we will be able to take on the challenges we have faced and persevere farther throughout our lives. Being a part of Broken Arrow Tigers has been such a big part of all of our lives, and as we take on the world outside of these halls, I believe we will be able to make change and inspire others to be true to themselves. I know that each and every one of us has an amazing story to tell, and I know you will all continue to do great things in your lives. In the end, through it all, no matter how far we go, we really are all in this together. And once a tiger, always a tiger. Thank you, Macy. Our next speaker this evening is Student Council President Nico Taylor, who has some thoughts to share with our graduating seniors. Welcome, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, that was beautifully said, Macy. Good morning, Broken High School students and staff. My name is Nico Taylor, your Student Council President. And today, if you would join me, I have a speech for you. When I was asked to talk about what it means to be a tiger, a few ideas came to mind. I can explain how we are tenacious in pursuit of our goals, or how we act with integrity and show gratitude in our daily life, or even how we have high expectations for ourselves and others. Or, as Drew King might say, show respect for my actions and words! But after sitting down and thinking, I decided I wanted explain how I feel tigers are special. In the wild, tigers are some of the smartest animal in the animal kingdom. They even contest a lion in brain power. This is much like us. Broken Arrow has some of the smartest and greatest students and adults on campus pushing to improve our school. Some of you might laugh at that, while others might think back to that one teacher or friend who has made a difference in your life. I have been fortunate enough to have multiple from Miss Williamson at Onita Ridge to Miss Wellborn right here at the high school, and to my friend group as they are right now. They have all had such brilliant minds, and they show that they care. This is another fact. Tigers are one of the best mothers in the animal kingdom, staying with their cubs for up to two years. Just like us, tigers care. But those teachers will continue to teach and impact people's lives. Let's talk about our class. Tigers have such a unique style that few animals couple. Nowhere else do you find animals with such distinctive stripes. And just like in Broken Arrow, that is completely true. We have a style unmatched in BA, from our spirit to our tenacity, that I know few other high schools match. No, I know few that have their own spirit squad like Jungle Squad. For those of you who haven't got to see the energy and excitement they bring to our student section, it is absolutely overwhelming. Yet we also have some of the best performing arts in the nation. From Pride of Broken Arrow is known nationwide for winning just a few competitions. And theater has created some of the best plays in the state. More so, our athletics have shown the power of a tiger. From swim setting new records to soccer winning state and basketball owning the court. Us tigers have shown such tremendous spirit showing the nation and the state who us Broken Arrow kids are. Us Tigers are people who stand out from the crowd, just like our Tiger Stripe. One quote that's always stood out to me is, I will never be like them, but they will never be like me. Let me say that one more time. I will never be Hope Rainey or Jillian Ross, but they will never be Nico Taylor. Now, if that doesn't put a smile on your face, you need to start thinking who you are. In this world, we are each born unique. No matter how hard we try, we can never truly copy exactly who someone is. It is futile to pretend to be someone you're not. However, once you embrace you, you will add an energy and color to this world never seen before. 
This is what I see at BA. I see so many people being 100% true to themselves, and because of this, no other school in the nation is like ours. If our class continues on the path we are on, we are on our way to greatness. This is what a tiger means to me. Throughout my high school experience, I've always tried to be a tiger. And I want to say thank you, for bro thank you, Broken Arrow, for being my home for the last 12 years. So for one last time, I want to say good night, Broken Arrow High School students and staff. Thank you, Nico. Academics are the central reason that all schools exist, and tonight we wish to honor our academic program. At this time, we would like to recognize all those who work with our students at Broken Arrow High School. With our high school department leads and the members of our Broken Arrow High School faculty and staff, who include all nine through 12 high school campuses, please stand so that we can honor your diligence and dedication to the class of 2021. Our class of distinction represents those students whose grade point averages place them in the top 3% of the senior class. Each year, a representative from that group addresses our graduates at commencement. Please join me then in welcoming to the platform Hua Li, representing our 2021 Class of Distinction. Good evening, Broken Arrow Class of 2021. I'm sure y'all expected Brady Reed or Kurt Wynn to be up here delivering this super awesome speech. Instead, you got this guy. Fun fact, six years ago, my sister Tram gave this speech to the class of 2015. A year before that, my other sister, Tia, she didn't do anything. <laughs> Way to keep up the family legacy, sis. Anyways, I'm not going to pretend like I'm up here to tell you something you don't already know. When it comes to the things that matter, I doubt that I know anything that all of you don't know. So I promise you that I won't be able to tell you something truly profound. Half a year ago, I found out that I was in the top 3% of our class. Of course, I couldn't help but feel like I was special. That being said, the administrators got the top 3% all together in a super secret meeting and told us to write the graduation speech that one of us special kids would do. The 38 of us special kids put together our special brains to create a unique, profound, earth-shattering speech. But you're getting this instead. We realize that everything that's ever been worth mentioning and everything not has already been said. And the top 3% of Broken Arrow's brightest 18-year-old probably wasn't going to come up so, now that I've lowered your expectations, I'm sure you're all wondering, what the heck am I going to talk about? I could talk about how our entire year was ruined, how we got through it, how we came out the other side a little rougher around the edges than we were before. And while that's true, guess what? 3.3 million other high school seniors across the country can say the exact same thing. Thanks. If over 3 million other seniors are sitting in a stadium, waiting to turn their tassels, then maybe we aren't all that unique. We've always been told growing up that we're special, and we've spent the last few years chasing that thing that makes us so. But time and again, we found ourselves in the company of others just like us, reinforcing the idea that we're not all that unique, but merely a member of the masses. Sure, we have the athletes, the band geeks, and the teacher's pets. We've all got our own quirks and styles, anything to set ourselves apart from the rest in some way. But are we really all that different? It doesn't matter if you're ranked top 10, top 100, or even number 1,255. We all went through these last four years together and made it out together. The same hallways, the same classroom. And how could I forget Nico Taylor's high-pitched good morning Broken Arrow announcement? 
Like, come on, who else has that much energy at 7.40 a.m.? No matter what sets us apart, we all influence each other to explore our own interests, whether directly or indirectly. That's the beauty of life, that we can go through it together rather than alone. The search for indiv true individuality is quite a lonely one, and whether or not special is a title that can be earned, the label itself is unrewarding if you get there. I didn't make it up here alone. I had the influence of my family, who supported me through all my endeavors, my teachers, who challenged my ability to think, and my friends, who pushed me to my fullest potential by providing a competitive atmosphere. And that's just one example of what makes me who I am. Self-discovery is a collective effort. We live life together, surrounded by people with common interests, problems, fears, and dreams. If everything in our lives has some commonality with someone else, is that really a bad thing? To me, it means we aren't alone. The point of the speech was not to be clever, and it definitely wasn't intended to be special. As much as I'd like to claim that I wrote this all by myself, this speech wasn't the product of one single special person. It was the product of an entire group of students combining their experiences into one cohesive thought. Ideas not exclusive to any one person, but accumulated and evolved through the shared journey of life. In the same way that we created this speech, something truly incredible arises when we are unified by one singular direction. So maybe none of us will ever be special on our own. Maybe none of us will ever have a street, a statue, or a PAC named after ourselves, even though that'd be pretty awesome. But we do have the opportunity to live life together, to learn from each other, and that is a remarkable gift. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, looking to make a name for ourselves, I urge you to live your life to the fullest, not in search of being special, but an impact that outlives you through the relationships that you've built and maintained. Those relationships are what will define you long after you've left the place. If I can leave you with a few thoughts, it's that your life will be about the moments that you didn't even attend to and the words shared with those you love. So stop. Stop living for what's unattainable. Live presently and just hope that someone out there will remember a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Kwa. Dr. Vinson, members of the Board of Education, faculty, graduates, and honored guests, it is a great privilege to stand before you tonight and add my congratulations to those which you have already received. Tonight's graduation ceremony is particularly meaningful to me because I have known many of you sitting before me since the day you began your freshman year in 2017 at the Freshman Academy. I know many of your individual stories, and I'm still learning our collective story, which continues to be written. I would like to briefly echo the words that have already been spoken by Dr. Vincent and our student speakers this evening. We have seen the tenacity, the integrity, the strength, and the courage it has taken for you to arrive at this milestone in your lives, and we stand amazed at you. We have seen the Tiger Creed that Nico referred to this evening lived out in reality amongst you, class of 2021. We have seen the relationships that Kwa talked about built, maintained, and we see the legacy of those continuing long after the commencement ceremonies end. We have seen the resilience and the grit that Dr. Vincent and Macy talked about displayed by each of you during your high school years. For this, I am so grateful to each of you and so very proud of your incredible perseverance in achieving this milestone. Tonight is about you, your accomplishments in the present and your pathway for the future. And so let us continue this journey. And now, the part of the program which I know you have all been waiting for Dr. Vinson, members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, faculty, family, and friends, 
As principal of Broken Arrow High School, it is my honor to present to you the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> On behalf of our faculty and staff, I hereby certify that each senior before you this evening has completed the requirements established for a high school diploma by the Oklahoma State Department of Education and our Broken Arrow Public Schools Board of Education. We will at this time begin the presentation to our seniors with members of the high school faculty announcing names and Dr. Vinson, Associate Principal Andy Rice, members of the Board of Education and district officials presenting to our graduates. We ask that members of our audience help us with our ceremony by observing proper decorum during this time. We ask also that items or sounds which could be distracting be held until the end of the commencement ceremony. This will ensure that all students' names are heard as they cross the stage. Our first graduates this evening are our three student speakers. Macy Page Foster. <laughs> Nicholas Martin Taylor. Hua Din Lee. This evening marks the second for Broken Arrow High School. Slightly over three years ago, under the leadership of our superintendent of schools, Dr. Janet Vinson, our school district began a partnership with Tulsa Community College and Northeastern State University called the Dual Credit to College Degree Program. The students participating in this rigorous program of study are only the second class of Broken Arrow graduates to simultaneously earn their high school diplomas while completing work on their two-year college associate's degree. At this time, students, if you are part of that program, if you will make your way to the platform. This year, we have 18 students who are receiving not only their high school diplomas, but also their associate's degrees with Tulsa Community College. Tonight, we celebrate this tremendous achievement. And we also wish you them continued success as they move forward into the future. At this time, we will call the students' names. Jacob Hathaway. Alyssa Springer. Jocelyn Lamb. Lisbeth Islas. Quinton Romelli. Kyra English. Braden Wickmark. Sarah Ura Walri. Chloe Lee. Kennedy Harris. Olivia Huffman. Kylie Harris. Presley Thompson. Kristen Dean. Quinton Smith. Stephen Whitaker. Addison Wynn. A 
Additionally, this evening, we have the first three students from Broken Arrow Public Schools who are candidates for the Advanced Placement Capstone Diploma. At this time, would those three students come to the platform, please? This diploma program is based on students taking the AP Seminar and AP Research courses where they submit an original academic research paper and defend their research findings. Additionally, students must earn scores for three or higher on four additional AP exams. They will be awarded this unique diploma this summer upon receiving the required scores from this year's AP results. We celebrate this outstanding accomplishment tonight. And these students are, Mr. Rosser. Nicholas York. Spencer Smith. Kurt Wynn. And at this time, we will continue presenting diplomas to the remainder of the class of 2021. Jalen Hobbs. Karen Okadobi. Abby Speth. Leslie Reyes. Dustin Petty. Javon O'Neill. Toby Benton. Hunter Hansen. Kay Lee. Peter Smith. August Curry. Jeanette Johnson. Madison Herzog. Robert Hinton. Julia Hayden. Samuel Allen. Jackie Hedgecock. Simon Blair. Jonah Givens. Caden Cantwell. Keith Hensley. Brandon Barwig. Jaden Johnson. Seth Dodd. Abigail Jones. Orion Buckner. Ruth Foley. Logan Diller, Brooklyn Jameson, Eliane Darnell, Peyton Hayes, Morgan Baker, Drake Howerton, Gracie Davidson, Evelyn Herring, Josie Carroll. Kai Fowler. Trinity Chastain. <laughs> Serena Costa. Aaron Gutierrez. Hannah Glory Basinger. Ignacia Gonzalez. Maria Arroyo. Megan Fee. Miko Bledsoe. 
Christian Delis. Nathan Delee. Winston DeWitt. Ebony Clark. Monica Te Atkins. Teodoro Jaros Fonseca. Danielle Benton. Kendall Edward. Zoe Corey. Amanda Fee. Christian Collin. Abigail Grove. Carlos Barbosa. Hannah Ferguson. Aliana Barnowski. Savannah Green. Morgan Castleman. Rochelle Jimenez. Alyssa Debbie. Sophia Spendosa. Joseph Dobson. Ramsey Green. Parker Anderson. Kendra Hummy. Trenton Collins. Catherine Glowacki. Cade Callahan. Isabella Heitgrass. Macy Cole. Luca Bella Delore Gadin. Rachel Clough. Kyler Howe. Noah Bryan. Kyler Berg. Kaysen Dutton. Logan Harper. Maya Howry. Isabel Calvert. Aiden Bost. Robert Cluck. Mason Eversall. Derek Childers. Reagan Hinkle. Anders Alander. Mackenzie Goins. Logan Carraway. Nora Emily Johnson. Jaden Cox. Michaela Hayes. Alexis Altamirano. Jessica Johnson. Brian Barrios. Olivia Holloman. Javier Becerra. Emma Job. Noelia Delgado. Quinn Fawcett. Aaron Arenas. Bryce Hinesley. Stephanie Castillo. Noah Higgins. Juan Coronado. Madeline Flagg. Pedro Carmona. Lathan Castro. Sophia Gill. Eric Chavez. Audra Field. Jessica Aguilera. Lauren Erickson. Alex Cruz. Presley Brandt. Jasmine Furlap. Alexis Bonnell. Luke Ferguson. Caesar Castillo. Alejandro Lydia. Garcia Ramos. Lydia Archambo. Alexander Hernandez. 
Arturo Bolivar. Madison Hayes. Gabriella Acosta. Devin Hanks. Zachary Duncan. Alexandria Bradford. Tucker Holloway. Skyler Alley. Brennan Franks. Alina Barabash. John Jerry. Catherine Barty. Amor Kemelo Rehime. Caleb Cole. Veronica Gonzalez Rubio. Nabiha Ahmed. Paulina Guzman. Inja Concepcion Torres. Cameron Bazell! Guillermo Gomez! Isabella Bryant! Malachi Hopkins! Lauren Bishop! Braden Fuller! Kaylin Clayton! Malachi Fultz! Riley Avila! Emily Howard. Nina Ailes. Rebecca Horn. Avery Clevenger. Brianna Hicks. Michaela Carney. Gianna Clark. Kirsten Green. Kylie Cooper. Carla Cortez. Riley Dittman. Mackenzie Irwin. Jason Brown. Haley Elias. Naomi Casey. Jose Garcia Chavez. Eden Burrell. Jennifer Gomez. Naomi Casey. Danny Forrester. Katie Davenport. Elizabeth Hurley. Hannah Chance. Aislinn Archie. Emily Crane. Jalisa Caldwell. Tabitha Daniel. Keon Barnett. Molly Grusendorf. Sanchez Banks. Christopher Ewing. Stephen Braggs. Kaylee Jett. Cameron Bryant. Jesus Fernandez. Kerrigan Dunham. Olivia Boss. Melanie Garcia. Elisa Cody. Jake Beatty. Ashlyn Hansen. Kaden 
Jason Armstrong. Colby Alexander. Ian Hyden. Ivan Cox. Jacob Hobson. Alex Sinoka. Julia Jenkins. Holden Cobb. Joy Garrison. Bryce Caldwell. Jefferson Carter. Daniela Flores. Kaya Carly. Verity Harn. Cody Bachman. Mason Garrett. Jacob Bonaventure. Riley Griffin. Chelsea Beard. Mason Elmore. Layton Hewitt. Grant DiGiacomo. Caitlin Haynes. Clayton Damp. Lucas Henry. Vanessa Barnett. Garrett Hinesley. Lydia DeArmond. Camden Ferguson. Romy Clark. Mackenzie Fouch. Jenna Curtis. Landon Gowen. Chris Gale Alpahora. Marley Priscillo. Michaela Cottrell. Cher Cheris Hall. Anna Adams. Erica Prescott. Anna Carter. Cammy Harger. Bryson Cherry. Carly Gowen. Alexander Davila. Thomas Inberg. Brianna Breely. David Helmick. Jacob Black. Randall Fox. Stormy Browning. Michaela Glowacki. Joey Crane. Brandon Ivey. Carissa Campbell. Aaron Hall. Taylor Giroux. Katherine Kaywood. Dawson Hicks. Rhiannon Atkinson. Gabrielle Henderson. Brooke Chapin. Pavel Ignatienkov. Kelly Butler. Kelly Hines. Esteban Benitez. John Emerson. Zoe Booth. Daniel Hickman. Mina Baldwin. Savannah Joyner. Mason Dickerson. Monet Gillum. Jacob Chanza. Sasha Johnson. Jacob Bowers. Rachel Gutner. Nicholas Boardwine. Kobe Hurt. Jalen Johnson. Ethan Billingsley. Jace James. Raphael Alejandre. Corey Flynn. 
Kelsey Bevins. Isabella Hernandez. Raven Barnett. Tony Gonzalez. Rebecca Dean. Brayden Friesen. John McKenzie Bradford. Mackenzie Hood. Jada Henry. Raina Brandhorst. Ryan Hayes. Brenda Coombe. Chris Hopton. Hannah Otten. Alexandra Green. Moises Aldama. Brandon Brunson. Kenneth Ruiz. Martrice Christopher. Dylan Fisher. Jaden Cowan. Brian Ferguson. Jamari Burridge. Keaton Genway. Caitlin Kitty Bowman. Parker Hicks. Corey Banks. Jacob Houck. Leilani Beasy. Joseph Hicks. Madeline Bryce, Jessica Horn, Jamie Abundis Perez, Elisa Garlick, Megan Anglin, Haley Harris, Rebecca Bowman, JC Gould. Crystal Rewalt. Aiden Dodd. Colin Hendrickson. Amy Campbell. Baylor Hill. <laughs> Madeline Clark. Justin Gerwig. Haley Caldwell. Jagger Farnham. Ashley Brown. Casey Goss. Ashlyn Burgess. Dayton Hill. Jasmine Aguirre. Jared Hill. Irene Burke. Jake Gibson. Prosperity Bell. Evan Gibson. Kenzie Archer. Audrey Carter. Trinity Boer. Miles Hogan. Riley Corner. Riley Grunhoff. Sierra Brown. Shyla Heatherly. Addison Brashear. Abby Garland. Hadas Bryan. Joel Jones. Maggie Cleghorn. Jonathan Goodlow. Austin Brook. Trenton Fawcett. Brayden Barnett. 
Brenton Gendra. Brayden Anderson. Chloe Foster. Zoe Breedlove. Alexandra Holt. Aaliyah Cassidy. Ulises Gonzalez. Cameron Bass. Kaden Huzzleton. Savannah Boudreaux. Colton Freeman. Riley Adams. Jimmy Garcia. Riley Hornung. Callie Dyer. Gonzalo Gallardo. Kelsey Duffy. Hannah Hewitt. Kaylee Biffle. Kaden Hancock. Aiden Drain. Sarah Graham. Xander Brown. Matthew Clemens. Naomi Garcia. Human Chowky. Jacob Grigsby. Alexis Barkett. Connor Evans. Megan Islick. Jennifer Johnson. Mercedes Dill. Cam Bray Garba. Dalton Allen. Don Hendricks. Jonah Abercrombie. Christian Hale. Zachary Gauna. Mike Abu Asun. Javon Hammer. Donovan Duncan. Matthew Hastings. Isaac Daring, Dallas Jones, Sebastian Bright, Jacob Griffin, Ethan Bossington, Jordan Harness, Whitney Burt, Luke Funk, Jeremiah Brackett. Kaden Johnson. Olivia Brown. Dean Grisham. Caitlin Davis. Jaden Forsyth. Brennan Batterson. Caleb Foster. Hunter Dean. Autumn Hutchcraft. Dylan Chang. Abigail Hutchcraft. Ethan Beamer. Samantha Foster. Macaulay Butler. Haley Edmiston. Zachariah Abdul Salam. Jaden Haig. Cameron Bolson. Abigail Hawkins. Connor Cole. Lenny Heimbach. Skyler Branham. Chanel Gordon. Ethan Bird. Alexandra Verdue. Jacqueline Aguilar. Kennedy Harbert. Georgia Brown. 
Edie Blakely. Marilyn Hardway. Barali Carter. Skylar Eduardo. Mizell Contreras. Andrew Egan. Josiah Courtney. Ashley Jolivet. Brock Cotton. Kenley Johnson. Timothy Arnold. Raven Hale. Jonah Conaway. Sierra Hickey. Caleb Allwelt. Bria Hall. Ian Daniel. Elena Holloway. Nico Santos. Caleb Friend. Simon De La Isla. Lance Henry. Zane Chaudhry. Cassidy Grace. Damian Chaucey. Seth Hahn. Aiden Bart. Jenna Hubbard. Noah Amin. Ricky Hillenberg. Trinity Estes. Eliana Alvarez. Bernice Jones. Nicholas Angarola. Danasia Hawkins. Nicholas Cantrell. Corbin Getsky. Jared Barn. Luis Ibanez. John Carter Coin, Malachi Hunter, Kelly Kamani Domricky, Alonso Galavis, Alexandria Burkett, Guillermo Gonzalez, Jasmine Duran, Ricardo Gonzalez. Cornell, Vanessa Garcia, Jacob Dietzel, Hugo Guevara, Cameron Burrell, Virginia Garcia, Gavin Dixon, Stephanie Gosh, Savannah Anderson, Jasmine Hawkins. Jordan Backman. Kaylee Graham. Alexandria Drake. Kyla Jacobs. Jocelyn Duran. Allison Hines. Madison Banks. And Elise Jester. Camilla Castro. Caitlin Gilliland. America Arredondo. Brianna Heikira. Isabella Castillo. India Jenkins. Christopher Alvarez. Nathaniel Fisher. Jocelyn Bartolo Rojas. Chase Hill. Joshua Chappell. Gracie Harris. Haley Babinski. Ashlyn Harris. Audra Beeson. Jaden Guerrero. Anna Count. Georgia Garifano. Caitlin Fox. Noah Barzalone. Katie Hopkins. Keely Archer. 
Emily Hopkins. Abigail Bland. Geraldine Yeboa. Kevin Ba Perez. Jalea Townsend. Rudy Aguilar. Mariah Ross. Jorge Campos! Damiano Harris! Cadence Brown! Kendon Wilson! Adriana Cooper! Bishop Robinson! Will Bailey! Hannah Tanner! Emma Adams! Caitlin Westhoff. Jacqueline Bright. Rachel Swissack. Caitlin Lemon. Peyton Turcock. Abigail McNabb. Luke Tillery. William Martin. Ashanti Tate. Delaney Parker! Lex Mighty Valentin Hernandez! Joshua Lore! Melissa Vargas! Kennedy Platter! Carter Wright! Ty Replogal! Trevor Mallory! Andrew Sawyer. Jason Pierce. Riley Roberts. Nathaniel Pugh. Peyton Reyes. Hunter Owen. Harmony Turner. Gabriel Lane. Ariana Toddy. Jacob Pugh. Emirate Ramos. Connor Purcell. Martez Walton. Ethan Panik. J.L. Talley. Caitlin Parrish. Jordan Thompson. Emily Paddock. Lance Young, Mariah King, Dakota Tomlinson, Carly Newman, Blake Sorgal, Danielle Lofton, Jedediah Williams, Emery Paris, Billy Saunders. Miles Mitchell. Juan Santoyo. Laney Musman. Vanessa Sellers. Jordan Catry. Corey Williams. Lydia Laughlin. Jalen Scott. Zachary Meredith! Jaheem Vaughn! Luke McIntyre! Andreas Rosales! Callahan Miner! Presley Wise! Arturo Ochoa! Morgan Scott! Abraham Palma. Eileen Rodriguez Rivas. Brian Moonrell Gomez. Sarah O'Neill. Ben Sarah Vendy Bogart. Jason Lambert. Nicole Wallace. Jaden Owens. Hannah Rogers. 
Corey Phillips. Lauren Tucker. Jacob Mulcahy. Hope Rainey. Colby Molino. Jillian Ross. Ozzy Phipps. Kaylin Tabor. Jaren Nichols. Alexis Taylor. Andrew Obert. Caleb Reese. Emma Landing. Brian Rowan. Kaylee Manning. Rosamond Turner. Tony Parker. Carson Whitlock. Mason McLean. Gracie Walker. Kennedy Lowe. Andrew Ramirez. Hallie Mitchell. Reagan Vermillion. Nicholas Pierce. Marley Ray. Joshua Pasillas. Jacob Reigns. Peyton Morrison. Iris Reeves. Christian Knight. Kylie Wilson. Gavin Lambert. Grace Velasquez. Payson Lewis. Tristan Smith. <laughs> Faith Vang. Kendall Oliver. Rayu Zhong. Natalia Macias. Kayla Rizzler. Bianca Placencia. Corin Russell. Amaya Perry. Noah Shelton. Nathan Menanga. Kira Ward. Karen Moreno. Maya Weber. Kimberly Morris. Desiree Roberts. Anna Para. Sarah Salzberg. Natalie Brianna Lopez Alonso. Taylor Smith. Eliani Miranda. Bryson Tuol. Raina Miranda. Kyle Van Pelt. Martha Pettit. Morgan Rogers. Michelle Leva. Sarah Rushing. Makia Lore. Kim Tran. Grisa Nagoy. Rachel Yanyan. Janice D. Moser. Alexandra Batiste. Ryan Peck. Emily Redder. Spencer Pressler. Carissa Wright. Maxwell Lucas. Key West. Lucas Keller. Emily Santiago. Isaac Osterdyke. Madison Tackentine. Caden Perrier. Nathan Shepard. Cameron Joseph Martin. Lee Shepard. Jonathan Orbeck. Mario Rivas. Tin Bam. Yadira Rivas. Samantha Romero. Min Pham. Alize Taylor. Brandon Luong. Samantha Velasquez Puga. 
Drake McQuaid. As an F. Sanchez. Kaylee Noy. Nancy Romano Flores. Steven Long. Rian Savala. Shine Kim. Ariana Weiner. Hannah McSpadden. Kiana Rodriguez. Yara Katani. Jaylee Thayer. Jacob Mobley. And Alicia Springer. Justin Mullings. Caitlin Sprinkle. Min Win. Sebastian Stewart. Xander Potts. Cody Roberts. Jonathan Martin. Andrew Zimmerman. Jackson Claire Coper. Brayden Williams. Jeremiah Kelso. Aaron Stone. Christopher Mickelson. Ainsley Whitaker. Elijah Kasparit. Corbin Schwab. Trevor Leister. Luke Wigton. Deja Osmond. William Tucker. Shaylin King. Brooke Tush. Catherine Kelly. Esther Villalobos. Damani Ousley. Edward Zunan. Brian Naranjo. Brett Schneider. Tyler Newton. Jacob Whitlow. Justin Nichols. Jackson Schultz. Rachel Kramer. Keyshawn White. Bailey Ogle. Ryan Tussaud. Caroline Perkins. Jacob Schellenberger. Ashton Lowe. Logan Smith. Morgan Kerr. Joshua Simmons. Kimberly Leo. Christopher Swinford. Kelly Mullen. Joshua Riles. Anna Perry. Cameron Samples. Marissa Miller. Zachariah Riles. Haley Long. Kenneth Wilson. Brooklyn Myrick. Clayton Reynolds. Mahogany Lucius. Joshua Walker. Marila Peters. Skyler Warren. Aliyah Peace. Emmanuel Skillings. Cameron Neese. Ramses Soto. Weston Miller. Jorge Ramirez. Joshua Phillips. Talon Wheeler. Amelia Pierce. Zachary Stafford. Kaylin Kairou. Logan Stovall. Dimitri Mua. Dylan Smith. Tristan King. Creighton Shaw. Ethan Miller. Winter Wheeler. Naomi Posey. Emma Roach. Kira Marasini. Lexi Smith. Lorenzo Montoya. 
Hadley Sporer. Colton Kern. Peyton Seagraves. Jasmine Lemon. Evie Turner. Ariana Mitchell. Caleb Simmons. Gabriel Patton. Matthew Zelmanzig. Ulia Labona. Victoria Seals. Caitlin Moyes. Tyler Ward. Tatum Newberry. Donovan White. Kimberly Mitchell Neely. Tyler Reynolds. Ashlyn Nugent. Jacob Yancey. Jordan Lloyd. Connor Sullivan. Taylor Cora. Colby Zerax. Joseph Lord. Maribella Reyes. Ashlyn Lee. Shane Romanello. Jarrett McGuire. Jabari Robinson. Cooper Kaiser. Caleb Taylor. Bryson Lever. Rebecca Reed. Drew King. Kylie Wallstrom. Jason McDonald. Garrett Taylor. Zach Pugh. Emma Reif. Jeffrey McCullough. Brooke Martin. Zahar Rosensky. Noel Thompson. Carly Chrysalevich. Kara Smithers. Lauren Overholt. Mason Watts. Abigail Leet. Violet Walter. Sawyer Melton. Mariah White. Grayson Bendito Owens. Olivia Stutzman. Andrew Cruz. Holly Walters. Haley Prentice. Justice Smith. Amaya McBee. Madeline Winningham. Amari Kreitlow. Savannah Romine. Ian Odin. Kemi Young. Darren Moss. Sebastian Topega Lopez. Valjean Matthews. Romero Taylor. Zechariah McGowan. Devin Williams. Ariana Million. Gabriel Noah Philip Stormer. Tyler Pinder. Summer Tate. George McCurdy. Alexander Williams. Kyle Quinley. Brian Ramirez. Hayden Meeks. Caleb Tusiant. Aiden Menard. Easton Trevathan. Laurel Price. Jonathan Wigton. Diage Anderson. Carter Stroud. Aliyah Molina. Tristan Taylor. Sierra Morrison. Jackson Sturgeon. Lisbeth Ovalle Vera. 
Troy Williams. Allie Pavasith. Joseph Stewart. Allie Landavari. Jacob Ruiz. Brianna Mazio. Kyle Westhoff. Micah Landers. Dakota Wren. Janine Moss. Celeste Page. Hunter Stanley. Eric Lloyd. Ricky Trost. BJ Lee. Jacob Simpson. Devin Mons. Ashlyn Young. Miguel Maturino. Gabe Sutterfield. Nathan McCarty. Sydney McMillan. Emmy Rhoda. Molly Miller. Abigail Reed. Caitlin Morris. Brady Reed. Lucha Lacrone. Derek Stretsky. Ethan Kinman. Trey Wright. Madeline Morris. William Beach. Nathaniel Lancaster. Chase Weber. Michael Loring. Caster Smith. Dylan Martin. Easton Smith. Jonathan Mora. Jeremy Thomas. Haley Opie. Bryce Woodley Knox. Marissa Longwith. Jonah Ramos. Trey Lawrence. Alexander Turner Camacho. Haley Meeks. Israel Shearheart. Claude Nico Bissaho. Dax Shepard. Holden Lins. Gabriel Rivera. Scott McGill. Cameron Waits. Jackson Living. Joseph Wiley. Karis McCullough. Claudia Reyes Jaimes. Gerardo Navarrete. King Chu Ya. Mario Motley. Curtis Jong. Zachary McLemory. Tristan Bang. Tyler Miner. Trevor Rainbolt. Quentin McKinney. Jaden Kazee. Heidi Marquin. Kalina Zhang. Kelly McDonald. Victoria Paro. Dominic Perrin. Kyra Moore. Christy Truong. Montana McFarland. Kay Ying Vang. Christopher Patterson. Shiny Vang. Stephanie Luna. Jade Stapleton. Rihanna Lawhead. Gracie Sisney. 
Abigail Lassiter, Emma Rosencutter, Ashlyn Personette, Madison Souls, Max Maracini, Travoule, Brooklyn Noah, Armando Sanchez Ramirez, Melissa Perryman, Maxim Romanchenko, Heaven Luton, Aaron Villanueva, Bryn Peterson, Carlos Sanchez, Victoria Newsom, Charles Scanlon, Tyler Manashe, Zyler Weiss, Michaela Minaberrie, Michael Wade, Samantha Parrish, Kaylee Scott, Kristen Kinnamon, Evan Rich. Caesar Quintana, Diego Soto, Carlos Lopez, Alexander Walker, Dustin Kidd, Ethan Thibodeau, Seth McGuire, Christopher Ramsey, Connor Moreno, Heidi Scanlon. Blazik Perez, Ryan Walker, Nathan Messenger, Michaela Stump, Durden Lang, Lakota Warrior, Zachary Ketchum, Minerva Ramirez, Nicholas Pacheco. Andrew Vu, Skyla Armstrong, Tamaya Walker, Zaria Mack, Valencia Valentino, Michael Patterson, Karen Ruiz, Luke Moon, Lillian Twist, Jose. Mata, Alyssa Thompson, Arlie Naranjo, Sierra Ward Swinger, Ashley McAnally, Melissa Soto, Hannah Maxi, Emily Stovall, Torin McCain. Darian Taylor. Zoya Khan. Gilberto Rivera. Sophia Latsis. Superat Sampat. Gloria Patrick. Faith Tao. Paulina Pacheco. Jaden Sanders. Haley Phipps, James Woodstock, Alexandria Moore, Avery Wells, Cambry Simpson, <laughs> Natalie Simpson, Alina Spillers. Dylan Stevens, Jayshon Steele, Abby Wayne, Gracie Spurlock, Harley Winters, Emma Wagner. Miranda Simpson.
Please be seated, class of 2021. I just want to say we graduated 1,300 plus seniors in two hours and seven minutes. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I just have a couple of concluding remarks. Once we are finished with the turning of the tassels and the playing of Tiger Pep, seniors, you are dismissed to meet your friends and family, take pictures, and then attend project graduation. Doors will open. <laughs> Doors will open at 10.30 p.m. in the gym lobby at the south entrance near the ticket booth, and that event will conclude at 2 a.m. And now, Ms. Foster, would you please return to the podium? The Senior Executive Board has decreed that we will meet again in the city of Bocanero at a place to be announced in the year 2031. Class of 2021, please stand. Graduates of 2021, turn your tassels! <laughs> B.A. B.A. till I die B.A. B.A. till I die 
B-A-B-A till I die B-A-B-A till I die B-A till I die B-A-B-A till I die B-A till I die Hold up, be eight in a crime like got the miss. It's obvious when I say that no competition. In the state can relate that a bait with the biggest never quit until we're in the grave. Our name rings loud throughout the jungle. You can hear the sound, thousands of fans screaming in the crowd. Everybody stands when the suckers come down. Bleeding out black and gold on the daily. The whole team winning, man, it's crazy. On an ultra light beam like a Jay Z. Grand champs on a band, I'm just saying. Greatness, real theme song, you can sing along. Never been a bit of dreaming, so we we'll keep on. Academically amazing, legacy strong, talented, we're creating. Giddy up, pause, won't pause for a minute. Five gold rings, one cheering. Believe what you hear, a nine is for the lyrics, so listen. The nation knows where it's real, I mean, love. Even billboards got a mission that's nice All four ways in a rhyme Get a spotlight, play it back twice Take a new height, you can feel the air rise And I'm feeling so alive, and it's here till I die like Yeah, till I die Yeah, that's the motto Black and gold life Just like I won the lotto Welcome to the jungle. Let us show you how we get down. 